Yes, today we are back with the next part of Feel Me on the episode Choose Your Story Up. If you have not seen the last one, you can see it right here and you can catch up on it. But we went to our friend's party and it was a hot mess. There was good, there was bad. The good, we went with chaos. We had seven minutes in heaven. We almost kissed, kind of, sort of. It was real cute. We are had a sleepover with him now. The bad. Um, they pretty much are friends. Well, not like our friends, but like our friend's mom and her friend's daughter pretty much embarrassed our poor character and made her run out of there crying because they made her feel so bad about her present, which she handmade herself. It's because she didn't buy a diamond necklace for this rich girl. Mm. It was ridiculous. But now we're having a little sleepover with Chaos in their little tree house. And it seems like Chaos is possibly regaining his emotions. So we're going to continue and find out what happens. But please go follow the amazing author. Her Instagram handle is in my description box down below. If you enjoyed this video, please consider giving it a like as it helps the channel out a lot. Subscribe if you haven't already. And without further ado, let's start the drama. I slept like a baby yesterday. Where am I? You with Chaos, you spent the night with him. I remember now. Chaos said we could spend the night together. The warmth of his skin against mine makes me feel over the moon making my heart. We'll give him that one has a little heart in it. I wonder how it was for him spending the whole night with me. Does he what I feel what I feel? If only I could read his mind. But can't you read his emotions though? So I mean, that'll tell you enough. What's happening to me? Did he regain emotion? Unlock Chaos's thought. Nah, you missing that chance. <laughs> Good morning. Hey, handsome. <laughs> Just laid on strong right from the get-go. He loves when you call him handsome. Slept well? Yeah, I haven't slept so well in a long time. Would you like to me to pick up your favorite muffins and we can have breakfast together? I would love to, but I need to help my mom with the bakery. It's the grand opening this afternoon and we still have some last minute prep to do. Okay, see you later, I guess. Are you guys up? I never went to sleep. Yep. You just woke me up, dude. We all gotta help. Meet me in 10 minutes at our spot. So what are they about to do? Your first night out, can you believe it? So Spill, how did it go? Did you get your first kiss? I should... Tell him the half-truth. I had fun, but there were some twists and turns. Good thing Chaos was there with me. Ooh, I knew something was going on between you two. You're probably talking out from all that parting, but we need to get ready for the opening. What's the dress code? I say let's go for a chic style, perfect for business women like us. I, on the other hand, think we should dress in pastel colors like cute cupcakes. Let's try both looks and then we'll decide. Okay, so they want little looks going on. So what do you think? Very classy. Time for my choice. Okay, we got some strawberries. Didn't we have this exact same dress or something very similar? We look so tasty. This is us having our cake and eat it too. We'll fit right in with the baked goods. Um, Choose a nice outfit. Decorate the baker. Why does this giving me like... This is giving me such like... Mm, we should look our best. I like the business look. Okay. Talk about a hateful aura. Ah, oh, the owners of the bubble tea shop. They sell cupcakes too, so they think we're the enemy. And your bubble tea shop, we're not selling bubble tea. They've threatened us to leave more than once. Kill them with kindness. So nice to meet you business neighbors of ours. Mm, yeah, take that. Literally, what? I bet those charming bubble tea hustlers across the street broke it and I have made this mess. What are we going to do now? We're opening in an hour. Guys, what are you doing here? Chaos said you needed us, so we're here ready to make this place shine. You bring the necklace I gave you. I thought you hated it. I have so many designer clothes and bags. Boring. Your necklace is so unique and special. I love it. Okay, so Milani's a sweetheart. I'm glad she likes it. That makes me so happy. Now that we've cleared the air, can we start this bakery makeover or what? With the help of my friends. They're literally really trying to sell us this like boom, boom, boom. 
Oh, that's cute. Oh. Sugar on top. Oh. I like, I feel like the modern style. I feel like the other one. <laughs> I don't know what's more funny. The fact it's like, kick my friends out and leave the bakery dirty and damaged. Or like, give my mom the dream bakery. Thank you so much for your help, guys. This is without a doubt the most beautiful bakery in town. Places everyone it's time to open. Bake a leg. Okay, welcome to our bakery. Good job. The customers love your professional outfits. You gained a star. You have one star. Now what? Amazing. The customers love the bakery's modern style. You have two stars. So then, like, if you didn't, like, you would have a zero? Okay. Time to start the customers. Pay attention to their orders and bring them exactly what they asked for. Hello, what can I get you? I like a vanilla cupcake with chocolate icing, please. What would you like to drink? A coffee, please. Vanilla cupcake with chocolate icing and coffee. I didn't screw that up, did I? I hope I didn't. Here you are. Thank you. Okay, we have three stars. Are you ready to order? Okay, hot cocoa, chocolate cupcake with, okay, chocolate cupcake with strawberry icing and cherry. Chocolate, strawberry, icing. Chocolate, strawberry, icing, cherry, hot cocoa. That one. Okay, so. I hope he likes his order. Thank you so much. Enjoy. Okay, keep going. You have four stars. Okay, I guess you could have got the stars by like making everyone happy. Can I take your order? Okay, vanilla cupcake, vanilla chocolate raspberry. So, okay, well, it told us that, so we good to go. We don't gotta remember this. <laughs> Plot twist, like it was not the gold option. I just did that there to screw you up. Thank you. The customers made you gain three stars. You have seven. So what's the max? The opening was a smashing success. Thanks for all your help. And thanks to the whole team, we couldn't have done it without you guys. No problem, we would never desert you. Okay, I'm so happy that it ended up good. The mom's bakery was a success. But who did destroy the bakery? Because it didn't say go home on the walls. Was this what's her name? She's so irrelevant that I just don't remember her name. Stay's so been exhausting. I have to finish my homework for tomorrow, but I'm so, so tired. But I mean, like, streaming and everything. Like, I feel like she was like, oh, no. We forgot to water the plant. I was looking for you. What happened to the pirate costume? The pirate movie was canceled, but don't worry. I'm casting to be the next Houdini on the big screen. Um, You know what? It's bewitching. I'd play a magician any day. And Houdini's the only one who can walk the plank and survive. Miss Dabrowski wants to see, by the way. The principal. Why isn't she happy? Spell you later. Miss Dabrowski, can I come in? DJ, I've been waiting for you. You're late again today, I see. I'm sorry I overslept. Your mother told me about your financial problems and psychological condition. I want to help you, I really do, but you got in on a scholarship. I need a good grades to keep that scholarship. Wait, are we in college or high school? I don't remember. It looks to me like you're taking your presence here for granted. I'm sorry, I didn't want to let anyone down. Your entrance examination showed that your IQ is substantially above average. What's going on? Lately, I've been having a hard time balancing my school obligations with my social life. I'd hate to see a special girl like you lose her scholarship. And that's why I found you a tutor. And not just any tutor, but the best student in school. Oh, what kind of twist? Chaos. You already know each other even better. What kind of twist? Like the idea of intense one-on-one -on -one study sessions with me and tugging on things, little homework would be nice. So you're okay with having him as a tutor? Sure, we're friends and neighbors. <laughs> Wink. Okay, so yes, we're gonna tutor. We're gonna do a little tutoring session. This is turning into what was that one story that I read? Private lessons. Perfect. All right then. Shoot, you two get go study your little student derriers off. I mean, studying this one way. What's happening? Did Milani get into another argument with Dagger? Yeah, one day he treats her like she's the only one for him, and the next he treats her like trash. 
why don't you tell her how you feel about it? What do you mean? You know I too am under the spell of an unattainable woman. Some people are real charmers. See, that's the real tea. That's the real tea. She loves Milani. She wants to be with Milani. And you know what? I want them together. Okay, we whipping it on the motorcycle. We be in the new tutor. He offered to come over to my place to study together. I know I was supposed to focus on math, but there was something really sexy about a guy who was smart as he was handsome. Can I ask you something? Sure. Why have you been getting bad grades recently? Truly, why have you been getting bad grades recently? I suck at multitasking. On top of my homework, there's my friends, the bakery, and her feelings. I'm already a very anxious person and my new life is just adding more stress. And if I'm being completely honest, I don't even know if I want to go to college. Why not? I like to be a full-time YouTuber. Do you think that's a bad idea? No, girl, follow your dreams. Following your dreams is never a bad idea. Want to show me your channel? You really want to see a girl. He's been seeing it. He donated $2,000 to you. Of course, if you're that passionate about it, it's worth checking out. How about we do a live stream together? We can play a game with my subs. Sounds cool. Oh my gosh, it's really just getting us. You know what? You're going home. I'm so done with that. It's getting late already. You should probably go home. All right, I'll see you later. Who's calling him? Who is it? It's Dagger. He needs my help. And I need yours. And so I found myself in Chaos's car. He was driving so fast that I held onto my seatbelt for dear life. Uh, I sensed that something was wrong, but I had no idea how serious the situation would be. Uh, what? I don't want to leave, Mom. We need to get out of here, Milo. Mom made her choice. What? Mila, we're going to stay with Chaos for a while. I'm sorry, Dagger. I had no idea. My dad likes two things, investing and drinking. When he wins millions, he's the nicest guy in the world. When he loses them, well. What about your mom? She doesn't want to leave him and I need to think about Milo. He's not safe with him. Why? Don't be guilty. You know what? How about a hug? Give him a hug. I'll be lying if I said that after talking to the principal, I got my life together. I was running around helping mom at the bakery, studying with chaos, spending time with my friends, and doing live streams every day for my subs. I knew I couldn't keep this up. Something had to give. And I could tell chaos wasn't doing any better than me. Even though he pretended to be fine when he was with me, I caught glimpses of him through the window, smoking and drinking alone, no light in his eyes. I still can't draw the line between my own emotions and the feelings that other people give off. So many people around me are struggling and I don't know how to help them. Girl, you gotta keep them boundaries up and have some me time. Those are their problems. These are your problems. You focus on you. When you find that people or situations are starting to drain you, that might be a sign to say no. I'm still feeling disconnected from my thoughts and emotions. It's hard to react to the people around me. It's like I've forgotten how. I know that it's normal because of my PTSD and depression, but I can't get used to it. I could love his little sweater. I don't want to. Your situation sounds incredibly isolating and lonely, but know that it doesn't have to be permanent. Have you found any opportunities to put your trust in someone? Maybe open up a little. I understand what everyone feels, but no one understands what I feel. I've never felt so alone and misunderstood. I know it's a self-defense mechanism that has helped me survive trauma, but I feel so lonely. Even if I let someone in, there would be no one inside. Why am I so different? Okay, so they both said that at the same time. Chaos, what are you doing here? DJ. Oh, it's me, Gloomy Boy. He just dropped that like it's nothing. What? 